Are you worried about getting this to power all that without shocking the absolute sh out of yourself or burning your boat down? Then stick around. Welcome back to another edition of Flip My John Boat. A lot has changed since the last time I saw you. Number one, my baseball season's over, so I have a little bit more time to spend with you. Number two, thank you all so much for all the support and helping me reach the milestone of a thousand subscribers. I was tickled with 50 at the very beginning, and without your support, I wouldn't have gotten there. So thank you all so much. Number three, today is gonna to be a little bit different. I'm gonna have an actual animated diagram. Oh gosh, did you see that fall? <laughs> see those baseball skills though? I caught it. <laughs> that would have been bad. I'm gonna to have to put that on there like a highlight reel. Number three, today is gonna to be a little bit different. I'm gonna show you an animated diagram of how I am wiring my John boat. Big disclaimer, I'm not a professional or licensed electrician. This is how I'm doing it, and you can use it as an example or a guide for later on in the videos. What I'm gonna do with this diagram is I'm gonna show you throughout this series of wiring, we're gonna reference this diagram that I have right here. Then finally, I'm gonna show you all the basics you're gonna need to wire your John boat and the cost that's gonna be associated with it. If you find any value in what I'm doing today, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification button. Thank Thank you and I hope you enjoy this episode of Flip My John Boat. Follow me on Instagram at Flip My John Boat for more behind the scenes content. Wiring doesn't have to be difficult, but there are some special considerations afloat. Corrosion is a major problem. That's why I suggest you only use a marine grade tin wire and cable like I have right here from Anchor Marine Grade Products. I purchased a 12 volt Everstart group size 24 deep cycle battery from Walmart for $74.88. Let's start with the positive wires. I'm gonna go from my battery with a positive wire to my kill switch, from the kill switch to the fuse box, from the fuse box to the switch panels, and then from the switch panels, I'm going to the accessories. Remember, this is a circuit, so I'm gonna come back with the negative wires in the same way that I went out. A few notes before we start. Positive wires are red in this diagram and negative wires are black. Think of the current flowing through these wires like water flowing through a pipe. Too much current can heat up the wire to the point of starting a fire, so make sure you have a fire extinguisher on board. I'm gonna take my six gauge terminal marine battery wire and run it from the battery to the kill switch, from the kill switch to the fuse box. From the fuse box, I'm gonna run my positive wires to the switch panel. You see two up there because one's going to the actual switches, the other's going to the cigarette lighter, the USB ports, and the voltage. From there, I'm gonna run a positive wire from the fuse box to the fish finder. It shouldn't be drawing any power unless it's on. And from there, I'm gonna take positive wires and go from the switches to my accessories. Now understand these are all examples and you can run these switches and positive wires to any accessories that you have. And from this point forward, I'm gonna complete the circuit by taking a negative battery terminal cable and run it from the battery to the negative post on the fuse box. And then I'll take wires and run it from my accessories back to the negative bus bar on the fuse box as well. And at this point, your circuit should be complete and you should have power to all of your accessories. So pause the video, take a screenshot so we can use this for a reference later on in the wiring series. All links to the product in this video are in the description. A very small percentage of the Amazon purchases goes to support this channel. Check out all the tools and accessories you may need to complete this project in the description. The basic wiring cost here excludes all accessories used in the video. 
I have the size 24 deep cycle battery for $75 from Walmart, the kill switch for $15 from Amazon, both red and black, 100 foot each wires from Amazon, $30 and $24, a 12 way fuse blocks with a negative bus bar is $21 from Amazon, and finally the six game marine switch panel, $43 from Amazon, which brings the approximate total for the basic wiring cost to $208. Boom! It's heavy. Woo. Are you worried about getting this to power all that without shocking the absolute shenanigans out of yourself or burning your boat down? 